Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World number four. Uh, back again for uh, another first look at another new route. This time it's the Fife Circle Line. Yes, long awaited. We're heading back there to Scotland. A route that in Train Sim Classic is really good. Going across the, not, not the first one, not the second one, not the third one, but the fourth bridge, rail bridge. Not the road bridge, there's about 12 of those. Uh, so we can do that uh, in the class 170. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube, hello, how you doing? Uh, th this going out after the video I've already put out that the people watching live haven't seen yet. I know, uh, doing the train training, but I'm not going to do that again because the people watching live haven't seen that yet. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you've already seen my previous video, skip forward about 15 minutes if you want to see the route. For those watching live, we're going to do the train training again. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, there'll be links in it. I, I confused myself. Uh, there'll be links in the description below to where you can get this route. Uh, there'll be a link down there to the Twitch page where you can watch me live on the Twitchy. Six days of the week doing all sorts of things. Maybe not every other Saturday though, because things. Uh, and a link down there to the Discord server as well. Uh, and though you can't skip the first 15 minutes. Uh, good evening, by the way, then to Ethan, uh, CN, uh, Trent, Ponterboy. And uh, it's Posh Josh. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do the training uh, because, well, you haven't seen it yet. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, have I gone past it again? Oh, class 170, last play, that's why. Uh, so here we go. We do the introduction uh, and then, well, that's why. I know I've done it. Don't start. I'll ban you. Class 170, introduction. I've got a deja vu going on here. Hello, and welcome to the training centre. Going on. In this training module, you will be learning how to drive a Class 170 in ScotRail livery. You can now enter the cab to get started. I like the fact that we're, we're starting in the car park. It's like, is this my car then? Why well, have I got a left-hand drive car? If I'm in Scotland. What is it? What do I drive? It's like an Audi. Mm. Yeah. It's not my car. Or if I just send up here by bus or something. Anyway. It's quite diesel-y. Right, there is the train. It's quite train-like in its traininess. Uh, we'll get on board, because otherwise we wouldn't be getting on board. Insert and switch the master key to the unlocked position. Okay, we can do that. That's down here. Set the train's headlights to day running. Okay. Headlights are... Yeah, all right, whatever. Set the lights off. Well, that's a good idea. There we go. The reverser controls the direction the train will drive in. If it is in any other position other than off, then the cab is considered active. Set this to forward now. The door power button is mainly used by conductors to control the passenger doors while inside the cab. Press the door power button to allow in-cab control of the passenger doors. Well, you got to put the key in and then... Press the door release buttons to open the passenger doors. Okay, Ponterboy, I'll remove you from the, uh, from the room. Right, the doors are now opening. And you can tell that by the way that they've opened. On this side, on the platform side is generally a good way to open them. Otherwise, you open them on this side, it's slightly dangerous. So it's always best to open the doors uh, on the side where the platform is, uh, rather than on the side where the platform isn't. I think they teach you that. That's one of the first things you learn. Open Press the window. the door close button to close the passenger doors. Okay. Right. Let's get moving. All right, hang on. Set the throttle brake to the P1 position. Okay. Slowly notch up the throttle brake lever to reach the speed indicated. We're moving. There's movement.
We have movement. Yeah, I worked out in the video I did. If you open, leave this window shut, but open that one, you actually get a good balance of audio. Uh, hi, Pops. Right, reach 96 kilometers an hour. So yeah, I like the modeling inside. What a little thing, hang on. It's quite horny, as horniness goes. So we'll do the training, and then we'll do a full line run. I've not been on the full line myself yet. Uh, the only time I've done anything in this is doing the, the video, which is basically this, doing the training. The train training, exactly. It's not the most rapid thing in the world. Okay, set the throttle idle, which will be bone idle now. I like the audio as the, the revs come down. I actually think it sounds quite good. I do like the Scott Rail livery. It is rather nice. Yeah, we did go on one on Saturday. Shadow day, shadow day, shadow day. One well, thing I just looked at, which we'll, I'll show you in a second, uh, was we can Let's do. Hang on. To slow down. Okay. Use the braking zone on the throttle brake lever. Yeah. To come to a stop at the indicated area. Okay. Don't worry if you miss the station. You are free to go around this loop as many times as you want. Well, I might get dizzy. Anyway, what I was saying is, well, I'll show you the timetable in a minute. I tried a quick look at it before I uh, did the streamy thing. You can go up the right-hand side of the route from Edinburgh to the final destination. You can't seem to come back on the left-hand side of the route. They just keep, seem to go the one on the one side. I'm sure we'll find something. Indeed, very Kylie. So 1.4, it's tunnel. We seem to be in a tunnel. Well, I'll show you in a minute when we do the full line run. Uh, we'll have a look at the scenarios. We won't do any. And then we'll do a full line run. Bit of a tease. Uh, hi, Daz. Yeah, so if you keep this window shut and that window just slightly open, you get a good mix of audio in the cab. Well, yeah. Well, I couldn't find anything in the timetable, Ethan, that goes the other way. But, you know, we'll see. Right, let's do the braking thing then. So I don't know why they put this on the high speed loop as opposed to the other loop. I was slightly confused as why we're going the other way. Did I have my eyes open? Probably not. Well, that would explain it. Slightly overshooted, it'll be fine. Let's shut down the cab. Okay. Set the reverser to hang on. Off. Set the headlights to off. 
off. Is it the master key to locked? Now you are ready to drive the class 170 on the Fife Circle. Am I ready? I, I don't think I'm ready. You can't just abandon me like that. I hope, man. Uh, right then. So that was the training. Let's go back to the main me and you. I'll show you what scenarios there are and then we'll jump straight in uh, and do a route. Because it would be nice to go up one way and back the other. Which is the plan. So, uh, to the trains. Choose a route. Five circle line. <coughs> scenarios. We've got uh, five of them. Fun around the Firth. Uh, there's that one. Uh, coming through a full circle. That's the only way I can see that you're doing both bits in one journey. Is this one scenario? So you go up one side and back the other in, in one journey. Uh, there's high winds, which goes up that side. There's scattered spares, which goes this side. And railway rubbish, which goes the same, well, part of the way there. Did really good, do a good job. I don't know yet. I've only done the training. Uh... So there's a the scenario. So timetable mode then in the one set. There is some stuff for the 385, but they're only like four and five minute bits going from Haymarket to Edinburgh. So there is a few of them. Oh, there's one there. 18 minutes. Where's that going? Does that get lost? Hmm. Anyway, so it's the 170 we're interested in. So Edinburgh to Waverley. Uh... Edinburgh Waverley to Dundee. So that shows on the little map there, going up the right-hand side. All of them uh, show as going up the right-hand side. So we'll start with doing this one, because it's an early morning one. So we'll do, it, we'll do this one then, and then we'll come back the other way. So that is the plan. So let's do this one. We'll change it to... We won't go January, because that would just be ridiculous. We'll go August. Hang on, is that going to be too... That might be too dark. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Edinburgh to Perth. Uh, 6th of August. Right, let's get going. Is there a Scottish underground route? Uh, there's a Glasgow subway. Doesn't see that many services. I'll scroll down when we've done this one. I just want to get on the line and go across the bridgey thing. Right. Welcome to the Scotrail service, please. Perth. Calling at Haymarket. Edinburgh Gate Four. Edinburgh Haven. Aberdower. Stars Island. Kinghorn. Kirkcaldy. Markinch. Announcements very quiet. Well, I suppose they would be. Right. So, Edinburgh Waverley. Oh, I'm saying my zooming didn't work then. Right. So, this train's going to Perth. Uh, lights to the on type lights position. Day running. Tail lights are off. Right. So, where are we going? Oh, God. That's the wrong one. Oh, that one. So Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway, Inverkeith thing, Aberdour, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kakadi, Markinch. Wait until 10 o'clock. Right, we've got a minute. In a New York minute. Oh, hello, first class people. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Are you having a jolly day? Hello, non-first class people. That's quite nice. Foldy up seats. Why is that table down? I really wish they'd model a toilet on these. Why are you sat there? Why would anyone go, no, nope, I'm going to sit there. Maybe he smells. See, I'm a bit smelly today. I'll go and sit on my own somewhere. Right, we should get ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, lock doors. Doors are locking on the right-hand side. 
Okay, hey market, 1.2 miles. And we're off. Camera collisions for the win. Right. Thumbnail sorted. Right, let's go out through the tunnels then. So this bit's the same as the other route we've got. The Edinburgh to Glasgow, Glasgow to Edinburgh, depending on which way you're going. It goes both ways, otherwise all the trains end up in Glasgow. I don't... Oh, that sounds good. I like the noise the throttle lever's making as well. That I'm quite impressed with that. Oh, A W A D the thing, hang on, is it one of these? God, I bet there's a switch somewhere, isn't there? Uh train lights on. Uh does anybody know Oh over here, hang on. AWS. There we go. Turn it on before I get moaned at. Press control and enter. Well, no, because they're in the keyboard in front of me. How can I press control and enter? Do you see a keyboard where I can press control and enter? No. Hi, Michael. I think that was an announcement I just missed. Can we have the cab light? Why, well, are you scared of the dark? In the dark, you'll find me. Hazard light? Why have you got hazard lights on a train? Yes. Fine. <laughs> you want the cab light on? You come and find the cab light. Why is my... Why is my thing illuminated? Train lights are on, that's something. Well, I'm sure there was an announcement, but because we're in a tunnel, I slightly missed it. I know I'm going slowly. I don't really care. Uh, one of these is going to be the cab light, isn't it? Do, 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 do. You can do the announcements. No. Hang on, are we on? Is this, this isn't the line for the airport one, is it? Is it the airport gateway, this side? Uh, Harry? Right, braking. More braking. Hey, now that wasn't bad. Right, so where are the bloody... Hang on. Cab lights. There. Happy now? Cab lights are on. This. Yeah, so, so the, how's the route so far? I've only done Edinburgh to here. <laughs> and, and that bit seems fine. Very quiet, very lacking in uh, other trains. Is my first impression. Wait until 10.05. I can do that. I'll play with my little knob again. I like the horn. The horn is very horny.
Right, 3.9 miles to Edinburgh Gateway. Okay, so we shut this window. We might actually... Hear the announcement. You haven't seen any wild haggis yet. Well, they're out in the country, aren't they? The platform does it very bright. That's because you're not used to seeing Scotland in, in sunlight. No one's used to seeing Scotland in sunlight. Right, 3.8 miles. Oh god, we're going to give it the beans. This little window looks a bit. There you go. It sounds good. It's definitely lacking in AI. <clears throat> it's a stadium type thing where they do some sort of sporting event. Close that. Yeah. It's it's definitely not rapid. The Murray, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do sport. Yeah, and I want to hear some engine audio. But. No. There you go. Oh. It changed up. Right, 75 limit approaching. So, yes, yeah, so we're going up the east side. So, uh, over the bridge, turn right. Up to uh, Mark Inch. And then we'll try and do a route coming back down the other side. The next stop is the airport gateway. Oh, hang on, that's... Breaking. Yeah, I like the audio from the train. Quite impressed with that. So this is the bit that normally you go straight on, wouldn't you, to... Glasgow. Obviously, we haven't done that because we're going. I don't know. This is the same. No, it isn't. Glasgow's. Just... I'm getting confused. Yeah, Glasgow would have been straight on there and not turn right. Are we going to get another announcement? There's a station here. Why aren't we stopping there? I want to stop there. There's people and everything. Yeah. I heard something. You'll soon arrive at Edinburgh Gate. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. That's really quiet announcements. Uh well, I don't think we'll be stopping at Edinburgh Gateway. Oh, it might be right. No, it might be right. A 
there's announcements going on on the platform as well. Which you can't hear. The thing is, I want to have the window open so I can hear the engine audio, but I think in order to hear the... Hang on, I wonder if we try something. I'll open the passenger door to see if the announcements are coming technically from within the um, the carriage. So see if that make a difference. To see if we'll hear them a bit better. Right, lock doors. Right, seven miles to Inverkeithing. Okay. Should be a tram line on the other side of the platform. There's something over there. Peanut. Right, go. I do I think it's I don't mind the in cab noise actually. It's quite quiet, but I've got that sort of humming. We'll see if we get if we keep this shut until we hear the announcement for the next one. Right, six point eight miles to Inverkeithing. 100 mile an hour limit. What's the top speed of this thing? 100 mile an hour. Oh, blimey. Okay. So we get to give it the beans. Although we got an 80 coming up. I think it might take us a while to get there. Yeah, I'm liking the train. Audio needs some work. I do like the fact that it is a split route. You go up and then dive out off one side, go up and then come back another side. It almost makes it two separate routes. So this bit's the same until you get the other side of the fourth bridge. I haven't seen a single train come the other way yet. Not even on the main line going from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Well, why couldn't they put that on? Because they've got that. They've got the licensing for that. Why can't we have trains going out of Edinburgh to Glasgow? Okay, so they've got the timetable wrong. Oh, there's 385s. Yeah, but they thought we'd have seen something. Oh dear, you really need help. You really need help, Peanut, don't you? Okay, so we might be getting a patch then to update the timetable. So I don't know what the frequency of the service is on this. Um, but I'd expect to see a couple of uh, a couple of trains. Oh blimey! Right, we got a fifty. Let's see, I really want to open that window. That's better. Right, slowly in. I've got the door open to the carriage now to see if we can actually hear the announcements. I definitely think they need to be boosted in volume. Alright, 40 over there. See another station coming up we're not stopping at. 
How's the route? Uh, a bit early to tell. So I want to do a full stopping service. That's two stations we've been through that we haven't stopped at. Well, here's the bridge. That looks quite bridgey. You do only get the one train. I haven't really been looking at the buildings yet. Looks good. Yeah, the bridge is <coughs> so the bridge is impressive. Yeah, I've not been across it by train. I've been across on the road bridge over there. I've driven across that. But I haven't done the train thing yet yet yeah first impressions not bad more AI needed the timetables uh, yes yet um, the timetable certainly needs work Yeah, I am liking the train. I think the train's really good. Uh, went on one on Saturday, and it does sound good. You know, having to just open, don't open this window because it'd be too loud. Open that window over there a little tiny bit, and you get the good balance of uh, audio. So we go back across that on the way back. So another station we're not stopping at. So it'll be interesting to see then if we do the return run um, the going the other way, whether we'll then stop at these stations on the return leg. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. It it definitely needs more AI. Because we've not seen a single train go the other way yet. There's a couple of trains sat in Edinburgh Station. That's all we've seen. Right, in the key thing. Right, will we hear the announcement? Oh, that's a lot of braking. Uh, yeah, we've gone near the airport. I thought um, I thought Tony might have got on. We haven't heard from him yet. He was kilt shopping this afternoon. Yeah, those announcements need to be brought up in volume significantly. I know I've got the window open, but yeah, just, just need to bring those announcement levels up. 
It is good they've got them. Oh, a train! We are not alone. Mark Twain. Yeah, I'm liking the modeling. Um, it's really good. I don't know if I can sh shut that door again now. Oh, shut that door. I think that made a blind bit of difference as far as the announcement was concerned. I wish things like you know, the screens would work. There's certain things that you almost want to have working just to give that like these screens it's like yeah i really want those to work right until 11 24 oh okay 10 24 we can have a wander then that was what did that do uh we're in the wi-fi zone apparently oh we can't go to the bus Okay. Well, that was a thing. I can touch my thing on here. Please present card. No, don't want to. In the key thing, a light here for Edinburgh Airport bus link. Off peak fares all day long. Oh yeah, they scrapped peak time fares, didn't they, in Scotland? In preparation for new trains due to enter service, we are currently modernising the area. This work will mean some changes to your normal travel plans. Our team will be happy to talk to you through the through the work and answer questions on the rail replacement bus service. No, I want to go on a train. I don't want to, if I wanted to go on a bus, I'd go on a bus. Any questions? Any queries? Ethan. Uh just ask. Why is the button that low? Are they expecting Harry? Or Ethan? Why? Why would you I'll just kneel down there and press the button. Uh, I can't get in the door. Oh, we're still in the Wi-Fi zone. Let's go back up the ramp. That was an announcement that I didn't quite understand. No, I don't want to give up control. Is there a... Let's see if there's a guards panel or anything. Hmm. Alright, we're back in the cab. Uh, hi, alien. You're saying that's an advantage to being short. You haven't got to duck when you get on a tube train. That's that's the one thing. And you're okay for picking stuff off low shelves. Yeah, so far, quite liking it. Locked doors. Doors are locking. Uh, Abadawa. Uh, they do. Clocks go forward on Sunday. An hour less in bed.
Uh, not this Sunday, sunshine. You're getting a bucket of water thrown over you at nine o'clock if you're not up. Oh, you've, you've bought um, Birmingham Cross City. Uh, I'm going to be on that on Saturday. Right. Three and a half miles to Aberdour. Yeah, definitely liking the train. Indeed, with a little weirdo. So we're stopping at, uh, where are we going? Aberdour, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kakadi, and Mark Inch. And then we'll come back down the other side, the other way. So you won't stop at the same stations coming back. It is a shame this isn't multiplayer. One day. You're a weirdo. Yeah, but I'm not going to Birmingham with you. There you go. Shut that window. King Horn. Well. Wow. Which you did have one once. Yeah, I think they need, need to work on the audio. And yeah, Harry is a little weirdo. A little fat weirdo. You're from Birmingham. Our sincerest apologies. Uh, Skippy, uh, thank you very much for that. Alien, uh, you are now one of us. One of us, one of us. Uh, who's smaller, Ethan or Harry? I can't remember. I want to say Harry. But gerbils are cute. He can't be a gerbil then. You might be down that way during the weekend. Oh, God. Yeah, Friday, I'm around the, uh, the Gloucester area. Uh... Saturday, Birmingham, Sunday, back in Swindon, and then Monday, going down to Portsmouth. Rats can also be cute. No. Dell Model Railway. No. Uh, I've got an N-gauge pacer. Just haven't worked out what, what to do with. On that window again. Right, 50 limit. Have a dower. Have we had the announcement yet? I think in Gloucester. Yeah. I don't know. I don't take a bike on a train. If I wanted to cycle somewhere, I'd cycle. very quiet announcement it's probably accurate if you're in the cab well you should charge for bikes on trains you have to pay an extra ticket you're taking up space oh that weren't bad Hey, that went bad. That went bad. I've got to say, I'm going to be honest, because that's what I am. I'm liking the route. It hasn't got the wow factor 
that the overland had i haven't got in the train and gone oh my god it's amazing i haven't like gone on the route and gone this is the best thing i've ever ever driven the overland overground thing the london one you knew what i meant yeah i yeah i'm not saying the roots yeah the bark and uh, barking one. i'm not saying the roots bad um it's just got a i don't know i think it's just lacking in a bit of atmosphere because you've only seen one train which half hourly service okay but i would have thought around Edinburgh, oh, we would have seen a yeah. bit more we would have seen a bit more life uh mcneela uh thanks so much for the follow um while we're sat here then tomorrow i'm gonna to be back with more trains in world four maybe this maybe not i'll let you know at the end of this stream uh wednesday night we've got some uh kebab chefs in multiplayer thursday we've got farming friday night we're doing uh wreckfest not here on saturday because i'm going to birmingham um Sunday night we'll be here with some Sims 4 in multiplayer. Uh, not here on Monday, but then back next Tuesday with some more trains in World 4. Uh, how was the London Overground? Uh, it was good, actually. It was good to actually see the, the stations that we'd been to virtually last week to go on it last Saturday. Last Saturday. It was good. Oh no, Blackpool, I think everyone, that first Blackpool stream, ev everyone was going, I'm buying this. And I think within the first 20 minutes of, of the um, London Overground, I was saying to people, okay, who's going to buy it? Uh, no, I was going to do Fern Bus this week, I'm not now. I think if they update the timetable... They do some tweaks to the audio. This will be better. But yeah, I didn't like Edinburgh to Glasgow at first because that was just broken. Right, Burnt Island is next. Uh, I'm going to wait for my judgment until I've done the whole thing. So up one side, down the other. And I say, this is one I will come back and, and look at again. I like the fact that, you know, it is a two hour round trip. There are a lot of stops. And the train's good. I, I'm impressed by the train. But we're getting a 158 for this. Let me shut this up. My big gripe with the audio. Uh, we're getting a 158 for this though, aren't we? At some point. So I'm guessing that runs some of these services. I'm sure this thing felt quicker when we went on it on Saturday. The square train. Yeah, one of the little porthole window. Do like a 158. We've already got it in this, but we're getting an updated version of it where we've got to wait a few months. That's quite a nice view. As views go, it's quite viewy. Is that a lock or a sea? Well, there's a question. I can't remember. Lobby would have taken a picture of it, so you'd be able to tell us what it was, whether it was a 171 or a 170 you went on.
171. Yeah, it's going to be different power. Right, we are now arriving at Burnt Island. Hang on. We'll soon arrive at Burnt Island. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Okay. So if you haven't got the windows open, the announcements are actually okay. Yeah. So it's my fault for wanting to hear the engine. But I suppose realistically, you probably would drive like this. Uh, there is a bit of a gap between the ding dong and the announcement. Yeah, nothing worse than having a gap, a gap in your ding dong. Proper ding dong. But yeah, I am liking the train. The route's okay. I I I wouldn't say don't buy it. I'm, I'm going to wait on my judgment uh, until we uh, we get to the uh, get to the end and come back down again. He thought Tony had turned up then. Well, apparently he's on. Well, unless he's missed the train, he might be on the train. We could be chatting to someone up back there. We'll see, he might join us for the return leg, you never know. Right, King Horn is next. Yeah, I'm liking the audio from the, the throttle. And inside, I suppose it does sound quite good. So you've got Kinghorn, Kakodi, and Mark Inch to go. Three stops. Michael really doesn't like Tony, does he? What's Tony done wrong? I said he was last heard of buying a kilt at Edinburgh Airport. So perhaps he's, you know, removing underwear. Well, let's see, on a, I heard, saw something on, a, on an interview once, someone from Scotland, where a Scotsman won't tell you what he wears under his kilt. He'll show you. But oh, <laughs> that Harry's now on the next train to Scotland. <laughs> oh, wow, this is quite nice. Right, 1.2 miles to King Kinghorn. So yeah, liking the route. I can certainly recommend it at the moment. I think it does need a few improvements. I think they, they know that there's a timetable issue. Oh, it sounds quite nice when it's powering down. I can see me using his train elsewhere. I think we need a bit of a pride livery doing for this. Has anyone done it? Is there, is there a pride livery? Is, does Scott Rail do pride liveries? You want another livery? Oh, because the, the one you've done. We 
sure to be around. Oh, we have an announcement, have we? Oh, three, three, four. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to be on that angry looking train on Saturday in Birmingham. The one that's like. Rrr. We didn't get an announcement. There was definitely no announcement for Kinghorn. <laughs> they forget the announcement. That'd be a nice station to visit. A station, yeah, station to visit. Nice view over there. Look at the King's Horn. Two stops to go. <laughs> Having a fish supper. Three miles to Kakodi. There's a lot of lag between <laughs> engaging the throttle and the actually the engine building up in revs. A fish on Friday. Um, and curry Friday for me. And it's going to be pizza on Thursday, curry on Friday. And then Ethan's cooking on Sunday, which I'm looking forward to that one. Never eat meat on Good Friday. No, nope, not saying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say to Ethan, there's food in the freezer, there's food in the cupboard. Um, off you go. Like half an hour after sending him in into the kitchen, there'll be a ding dong at the door and it'll be a McDonald's delivery. Right, I'm intrigued now to see if we actually get the announcement from Kakodi. Because we didn't get the one from Kinghorn. I'm going to stay in the in-cab view in case we miss it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of fish fingers. And Harry Ramson's fish fingers are very posh. He's just paying for the name. Roast dinner, I had that yesterday. Which is very nice. I bet Ethan couldn't even do beans on toast. I probably have beans on toast, in all fairness. Don't mind a bit of beans on toast. Right, a 65 limit. How does he do the beans? He's not allowed to use a toaster. He's only allowed to use a toaster. That's why he's never done beans on toast. Now, see, I do, when I do my beans on toast, right? Which a lot of people now will disagree with this, I should imagine. Put the bread in the toaster until it becomes, you know, toast. Put that toast on a plate. Open it in the beans. Pour that tin of beans on the toast. Put that in the microwave. Because, you know, you got to think of the washing up. We 
will soon arrive at Kirkcaldy. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Okay, announcements are better when you're in the in-cab view. Well, yeah, some people will do their beans in a like a bowl uh, in a microwave and then do the toast and then pour those beans on the toast. The one disadvantage to dip, putting the beans on the toast and putting it in a microwave is that you do get soggy toast. But it's less washing up. You're only washing up a plate. So I do think of what I'm cooking based on the amount of washing up. For your safety and comfort, this station operates a no smoking policy. This includes e-cigarettes. Yeah, but then you're washing up a microwave tub and your plate. Do a dishwasher. I live on my own. <laughs> Yours is called Fabio. Yeah, you wish. Uh, locking doors. Doors are now locking on the left-hand side of the train. It's not difficult. Fine, you come here and do my washing up. Uh, right, Mark Inch. Uh, final stop then on this run. Six point three miles. Mark's inch is a cold day, yeah. I am hopeful that doing the other route will stop at more places. And it will be the, the other route. I don't know at what point it splits coming back. Where does it divert off? Here. Oh, is it? Okay. Or before or after. My family in Birmingham, Hoopman, uh, uh, on Easter, still do a uh, an egg um, design competition. So it used to be the grand, you know, nieces, nephews, etc. Hard boiled egg, and then see who can decorate their egg the best, and they get a prize for the best designed egg. And I think they still do it now. What was the prize? I think an Easter egg. More chocolate. What was the prize an egg, yeah. I still think Ethan's never had boiled egg. Boiled egg and soldiers. Right, five miles. We well, have had an egg now. I fed you an egg in uh, outside McDonald's. I don't know yet if I prefer it with the windows shut in here. You had scrambled eggs once. But you're not going to remember that though, are you? Well, no, he had a... I can't remember what he had. It was something with an egg in it. Well, he ordered it without the without the egg. Um, but they didn't take the egg out. So he was eating it and then left a little bit of egg left in the bottom of the, the thing. So I just took the egg and shoved it in his gob. <laughs> I've never had a poached egg. The only way I'll, I'll have an egg if, if I do a fried egg. Or occasionally an omelette. Right, 
Well, yeah, and poached eggs weren't a thing when I was growing up. I wouldn't dream of having a poached egg now. I don't really buy eggs. I used to buy like six eggs and then use two of them and then end up throwing the rest away. It's very rocky along here. Right, so does the route come the other way? I'm guessing it starts at Mark Inch, but comes down the other side. See, I should be the one that knows these things. I don't know, I haven't got a clue. You buy 12 pints of milk a week. I buy two pints of milk a week and generally end up pouring away some of it because I only have milk in when I have a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. Monday to Friday I have one well last night I had a cup of tea so maybe one sometimes maybe two cups a day Saturday Saturday or Sunday I'll have a few more I've got an Ethan here this weekend so there's some croissant in the cupboard um, and chocolate that's it that's what I just feed him on Oh, that was noisy. That was also noisy. So we've seen one train go the other way. The big bar is still there. My well, chocolate makes me spotty. So I don't really want to eat chocolate. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the timetable. That was window again now. Alright, we've got a yellow. So yeah, not a bad route, actually. I think the bit the other side is going to be more interesting because there's more stops. I think one after an update... I think it'll improve and I want to see more AI on it but if th well if there isn't then there isn't but even more AI on the bit where it joins the main line back into Edinburgh would be something I'm so excited you have an Ethan with you this weekend <laughs> Thursday to Monday Yeah, I think it's done a good job on the train. Oh, there's another one. Yay! That's two. Right, we got a red. I love our words like that. We change one letter. It's like, in, I can't remember where it is, but they spell taxi. T-A-K-S-I. Really? So yeah, tomorrow night is going to be more trains in World 4. Maybe on this route. I think this could be one that would be quite interested in interesting in snow. There's definitely a There's definitely a delay between the bing bong and the an announcement and then the bit where they say the station. We're soon to arrive at... Oh, turn the page, turn the page, turn the page. Mark Inch. I think I need some work.
sure they can just do it as one file. The bing bong was soon to arrive at Mark Inch. That's it. Rather than do it, I'm guessing they've done it as separate files. So it does the bing bong, then it goes, I'm soon to arrive at, then it goes Mark Inch, then it goes, please remember to take a person along is with you. Yeah. What well, just. Uh, hi, Nico. So, yeah, that needs a bit of work. It's not negative, but it does need a bit of work. Oh, wow, that was a thing. That was one. Uh, good. A lot of people are getting on. This is the end. It's a shame. Where does it go? I want to go down there. Why are we only going to Mark Inch? I want to carry on. It's frustrating lines like this. I, I get when you know, it's, it is physically you're doing the whole length of the route. But when you're just doing a section of it, it's really frustrating because you're like, I want to do the whole thing. Right. So that was uh, the right hand side of the map. So you went over the uh, Edinburgh, over the fourth bridge, turned right uh, and then uh, went up to Mark Inch. Uh, now we're going to do um, the return leg. So we want to do the, is it Glen Rose? Yeah, so a Glen Rose service. Okay, so we'll bring the time down. Let's do the one after where we've got to. Look, so we'll almost, we'll turn around and come back on the same train. Do an evening peak. Bossy, isn't he? Do that one then, a sixteen fifty-eight. Uh right then. Let's do this. Hopefully we get more stops. Welcome to the Scott Trail service to Edinburgh Waverley. Calling at Cardendon, Loch Gelly. Cowden Beef, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Dunfermline City, Brosaith, Inverkeven, North Queensferry, Dalmeny, Edinburgh Gateway, South Gael, Haymarket, Edinburgh Waverley. That's if you better. See something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. Be it, be it, sorted. I was pointing towards Ethan name then when it said, you see something that doesn't look right. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so headlights on day running. Uh, tail lights are off. We'll unlock the doors. <laughs> he was pointing at me. Uh, Dragon's Ben. I see what you did there. Are you a dragon, and are you called Ben? Thank you very much for the follow. Right, so now it's the return leg then, the other way. Um, back down towards uh, Edinburgh Waverley. More stops, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, we like that. So technically, you know, this is two sides. Hang on, we look at the map. Uh, yep, there we go. So, there we go. So we started down here at uh, Edinburgh there um, and we came up over the bridge and then turned right so on the way up we did this side uh, and up and now we're coming back uh, that side all the way down there and then round here and then back we got this bit over here as well why is all that in there why have they done Hmm, does that mean we got there's more stuff coming? Well, those are the trams. Why are they there?
AI. Oh, there's one there. Oh, what if you can get on them? Hmm. I mean, it's going. I wonder if you can get on them, like here. I wonder if you can get out to them. I was going to look at that when we get Edinburgh. Uh, right, locking doors. Let's chat more broken boys. The Sims and stuff traveling service going to Edinburgh Waverley. I'm your guard Tony, and I'll be here to help you along your journey. We'll be calling at some places that I can't remember the names of, and uh, I'll be here to serve you some drinks along the way. I've got some small bottles of whiskey, it's rather nice. I'm also wearing my kilt today that I've just bought at Edinburgh Airport, so please don't look up it, because I'm not wearing any underwear, it's quite nice. We better get going then, so I'd better do the thing and uh, let's get out of here. Go, 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 Stevie. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll get going then. Uh, Gardenden is the first stop uh, in 4.8 miles. Did he honestly say, go, 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 Stevie? That guy's a bit weird, isn't he? Right, four point. If you're new, <laughs> that's Tony. <laughs> it's very weird. Right. So yeah, making our way back down the other side. We will have a look at those trams when we get back down to the Edinburghs. Uh, oh blimey, that's got like an hour and five minute run as well, isn't it? If you're new, I suggest leave now. There is no hope. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually liking the fact that um, we've got, it's two different, uh, almost two different runs. <laughs> Where's the lightly smoke caviar and foie gras I ordered? Connor. Right. Cardenden. I almost. I don't know what to do with that window. I'm actually getting used to it without that. I mean, I can get a bit more volume. Yeah, that's better. There we go. We'll put it a bit louder and have it a bit. Have it the inside noise. Right, 4.2 miles to Cardenden. Did Tony make it? Tony's just... Uh, I think he's been on board all the way up. I think he's been having a few whiskies. He's with us for the return trip. He can't remember where we're going, though. Hello, miss. I'm sorry, I have a cold. Um... The swan tartare is most excellent. <laughs> the badger, the cream of badger soup. The thing is, can we convince Tony to stay in Scotland for tomorrow? That's the question. Because after that, we won't hear from him until... Uh, uh, next week. Oh, I've had an idea. I've just, I've just had an idea. Um, right, three miles to Cardenden, Cardenden, Dun, Cardenden. Uh, hang on, I just need to do a thing. Bear with me. Uh, well, I remember it. Uh, it's going to be a very cryptic one. 
Uh, uh, and oh god, hang on. There we go. That's that done. Right, 2.6 miles. Yeah, I'm actually liking the route. I wasn't sure. There's been a bit of negative um, comments about the route. Um, saying that, um, you know, it, it's not great. And I know there was missing announcements. Uh, you know, I was asked on Friday not to record any content. There was a fix that came out on Saturday, which is this current build. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see that notification until today. Um, but yeah, it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. You know, the unfortunate thing is when there's negativity, and uh, there is negativity towards Rivet, uh, who have done this route, because they haven't done the best job at some of the others. Um, but I'm actually liking it. Right, we should get the uh, onboard announcement. Yeah, I'm liking the audio from the train. And it does look good as well. So yeah, I think they've done a really good, uh, really good job. <laughs> I'll say, aren't unicorns endangered? You show me the horn, I'll eat it. Yeah, same here, Ethan. And I get that, you know, it having it realistic is fine. Um, you know, if it is a half hourly service, then I'm up for that, not a problem. But the fact that we're going out of in uh, out of a major hub, um, I would have expected to see more trains coming in and out of Edinburgh, especially as Dovetail have got the licensing to do the trains going back and forth to Glasgow. So I would have thought we'd have seen those. We'll see what happens when we get back down there, being that we're going back down in rush hour. Is Tony endangered? Tony's in danger. Uh, is the route worth buying? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it actually is. You know, um, it's a good route. I like the fact that it's long. You know, 50 minutes up one way, an hour and 10 minutes back the other way. So to do a round trip is two hours. Which I suppose you could say is the same as the other one, but you're not doing the same round trip. Okay, we might be slightly overshooting here. Oops. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's all right. Some of the train is on the platform. Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. No one noticed. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims and Stuff service going to Edinburgh Waverley. I'll be your guard, Tony. I'll be coming around with some drinks and snacks. There's slightly less whiskey now than there was a few minutes ago. For the passenger that just put their hand up my kilt, if you'd like to see me at the back of the train in five minutes, we'll have a little, have a little meeting. I'll put my hand up your kilt. Next stop is uh, Lock Gently. Go, 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 Stevie. Well, let's go to Lock Gently then. Go. I mean, yeah. Can, can, yeah, can nobody go go anywhere near that back cab? <laughs> I 
Right, uh, Loch Gelly. So that we didn't go here on the way down. Did we go to the last place? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we may have gone to the last place on the way. Yeah, like in the train, like in the route. Can certainly uh, recommend it. What's the quickest route to Loch Gelly from here? <laughs> well, this. <laughs> If you're new to the streams and you're wondering, yeah, I know. I know. No, honestly, I, I do. If only I use my mixing desk, I could add some echo into that, but I, I don't know. Well, mixing desk, I could. One day. Uh, right, 1.3 miles. We've got a 40 coming up in 2.1 miles. The trains we have in this, there should be eight trains for our going to North Queens Ferry between 5.30 and 6.30. I don't think there's going to be that much. I didn't let you fiddle with it. Fiddle with there's words. Right, so it is slightly off then. Okay, well we'll see if they update the timetable. There has been some talk in the in the dovetail chat about uh, the timetable. So if they put a fix in and they add more trains in, then it might give it some more realism. There could be a release day patch out because it's not due for release until tomorrow. So we might get another patch for, for the release version tomorrow. We'll soon arrive at Loch Gelly. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. There's definitely a lag between the bing bong and the announcement. So that was Tony. No, no. If he's not drunk all the whiskey, we'll hear from him again in a minute. There are people. Hello, people. Hey, now that wasn't a bad bit of stopping. Yeah, I think the inside of the train's modelled uh, quite well as well first class bit a bit of a rattle going on in here yeah I think the trains Edinburgh Waverley no it's not the trains done really well can we see Tony he's in there somewhere he's, he's probably at the back uh, right locked doors he locked them on the right there I saw a platform Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Simpson stuff. Scott Rail Service going to Edinburgh Waverley. I'm your guard, Tony. Uh, I'm in the rear at the moment. Uh, someone's stolen my kilt. Uh, I can't leave the cab unless someone's got a spare kilt or, or, or some underwear. So I'll be back here drinking the whiskey for the remainder of the journey unless someone can bring me some clothes. Go, 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 Stevie. Okay, well, it sounds like someone's stolen Tony's kilt. Oh, slightly rolled backwards. Who would steal someone's kilt? Ah, unless he took the kilt off, we won't ask why. <laughs> That's not a kilt, no. The thing is, he must have arrived in Scotland with, you know, trousers, hopefully. See, I don't know what he's done with the trousers. Because he bought a kilt. Um, Edinburgh Airport 
Um, so where did his trousers go? Now, I don't think he's got... Well, I, I, he may have got a hotel room. <laughs> Michael really doesn't like Tony, does he? Uh, are there any GMC 645 locomotives in this game? I've got no idea what a GMC 645 is. Doesn't sound British. <laughs> I'm sure it's one of the train weirdos. You're supposed to wear nothing under a kill. Exactly. It's American. I don't know then. Don't think. I don't know. I've got all the routes. I don't know if it is in there. Well, that's a good. Uh, there you go. Thumbnail. Put a little thought into my thumbnails. I'm actually liking the audio from the inside now as well. So I've increased it a little bit. I definitely like the audio from that. That's done really well. Wipers. I can't go left and right though. This is electric. Um... Diesel. I can't use the in-cab phone and get Tony a taxi at the next station. Uh, right, Cowden Beath, platform one is next. We're running a couple of minutes late. So yeah, well, uh, We'll do this run back down. Hang on. We'll soon arrive at Cowdenbeath. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. I've got the AWS on. That's all I use. Right, Cowdenbeath is next. So yeah, I'm actually I'm really liking the fact that this is this is two different ways along around the same well, it's the five circle line. I can't remember it being this good in the Train Sim Classic version. I think once they sort the timetable out, this will actually be a really good route. So to, to get a bit more um, AI on it. I think tomorrow we try it in snow. And then I think we do it, we have a bit of free roam fun. How does that sound? So we do a snowy run. And then we chuck something on it in free roam. And have a bit of fun. <laughs> I think 166 would work really good on here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims and Tough Scott Rail Service going to uh, Edinburgh Waverley. And it's Aberdeen then, we're not going there. The next station coming up is Dunfermline and Queen Margaret Platform 2. That's a long station name, maybe it's got a long sign. I found some trousers, uh, been given a pair by a very nice man called Bruce. He's now sat here just wearing his boxes. His trousers do smell slightly of wee. But I'll be coming along soon to serve you some more drinks. The only thing we got left is some spritzer and a bag of cheese and onion crisps. 
Let's get going then to Dunfermline, because I'm fed up talking to you now. Go, 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 Stevie. Wow, he's getting fed up talking to us now. But at least he's got some trousers. Guards don't do the trolley. What? There's only two of us on here. I can't have a third person. That'd be really confusing. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that talented. <laughs> well, at least he's got some trousers on now. But it's a guy called Bruce <laughs> sat in the rear cab just in his boxers. Right, 3.6 six miles to Dunfermline. Change Tony's role from guard to train manager. I'm promoting him. Any Czech game uh, trains? Uh, I'm going to say no. Uh, French, German, Austrian, um, UK, America. Swiss. Ugh. Like an army knife. So yeah, I think a, a, a snowy run tomorrow would be quite cool. Keep me awake, yes. Right, we've still seen no other train come the other way. What are you prattering on about, Ethan? Okay. In Africa, a continent rather than a country. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he doesn't know. Don't get into all that. <laughs> what facts? <laughs> don't don't get factual. Oh, I'm guessing a load of people don't like Tony because a lot of people have stopped watching. Oops. It's factually true. Yeah. Well, exactly. You either hang around and go, this guy's a complete nutcase, I'm having some of this. Or you go, this guy's a complete nutcase, I'm out of here. I seem to be teaching geography. You can sod off as well. I'm wondering now when we're going to see the first train. Where's the Danube? <sighs> I was going to say something about you sticking your hand up there, CN, but I won't. Um, right, 0.8 of a mile to go to Dunfermline, Queen Margaret. Platform 2. Doesn't sound diesel inside. Oh, for God's sake. Fuck. There. There's a train. It's a train. It might slightly overshoot. Brakes on this aren't very good. Ah, 
That's fine. Some uh, two thirds of the train are on the platform. That's really quandary. It's like you have the window. If I open this window, it's great, but you can't drive with the window open. Yeah, passengers are to leave here. It must be in the rear two carriages. Uh, so, yeah, so tomorrow night we'll do more of this. Uh, Wednesday we've got some kebab chefs in multiplayer. Uh, Thursday night uh, we're doing some farming. Friday night is some wreck fest. Uh, not here on Saturday because I've been dragged around that there, Birmingham. Birmingham. Uh, Sunday we'll be here in the evening with some Sims 4 in multiplayer. Um, where you may see Tony. I know, uh, and they won't be here Monday, but back on Tuesday with more of this. Uh, oh, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Simpson Stuff service going to Edinburgh Waverley. I'm your train manager, Tony. I've been promoted. Mm. <laughs> that was quite camp. The next station stop is Dunfermline. It's a city, apparently. We're stopping at platform one. Uh, I'm now running out of snacks. Uh, all the drinks have gone. I've got half a packet of cheese onion crisps left. So if someone wants to share them, uh, you can come and sit on my knee. Uh, and not the guy that sat on my knee a minute ago, because I've now got a slightly wet knee. Let's get off then to Dunfermline. Go, 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 Stevie. Okay, so he's got a slightly wet knee. Right, there we go. <laughs> Instead of messing around, drive the bloody train. I've got to wait till he's done his announcement. I could go during the announcement, but that'd be even more confusing. <laughs> Tony gets more random after each station. Uh, how many have we got to go? I don't know if I can keep this up all the way to Edinburgh. I think it might get off. Tony might be leaving us. I'll just kick him off. <laughs> right. 1.1 miles. Nine stops. Jesus. can't leave halfway through a route. I'm actually liking this route more and more. I think I'm, I'm preferring this side than the other side. If that makes sense. Because they're more frequent stops. I think that's making it more enjoyable. But you can't go up this side, can you? We come for the Stevie. Well, wow. arrive at Dunfermline City. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. It does release tomorrow. What do you mean? You can't go... There isn't a stopping service going north This on this side, is there? Oh, the bre brakes are bad. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Okay, the passengers in the rear two carriages are fine. Passengers in the front carriage just walk back a bit. Well, I just thought the northbound ones were only going to be the other side. The southbound ones are only this side. <laughs> Otherwise, all the train be stuck in Edinburgh. No, because northbound you go one way. Southbound you come this way is what I was thinking. Not that you could go northbound on the west side and southbound on the east side. That makes it even more interesting because I'd want to go up this way. Why would there be two tracks? I don't know. Uh, oh, lock the doors. Mm.
Let's get one. Welcome aboard the Sims and stuff. Scott Rail Service. Go I need to say Flixbus Service then. Uh, Scott Rail Service going to Ross Eyes. No, it's not. Next stop's Ross Eyes. We're going to Edinburgh Waverley. Oh, go, 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 Stevie. <laughs> I think Tony got a bit confused. <laughs> Trains going either direction round the loop. Okay, well, fine. I just thought it was this was modelled so you go up one way and down the other. <laughs> Do I smell toast? <laughs> Right, 1.9 miles to Ross. Am I okay? No. Far, far, far from it. I'm glad I've only got two more days at work. Yeah, this is normal. Ethan's the one in the community that spent the most time with me. He knows this is normal. Oh, we've never done normal on this stream, as the Susan clip will show. That was seven years ago. We, we've we never been normal. So I can't believe that was seven years ago. <laughs> right, 1.4 miles to Rosyth. He said his name was Susan. He said that's where he was keeping his lunch. I didn't know it was his penis. Right, Rosyth is uh, approaching in, uh, well, we're approaching it in 1.1 mile. I think this would be a really good route at, um, at dusk or dawn. I don't think it'd be one of those you want to do at night. I think it'd be good at night. But I suppose in a completionist kind of way, you'd want to do all the services. But I, I, if I was going to go and do all the services, I'd want to do them during the day. Um, during the day. During the autumn. You know, no, summer. I knew what I bloody meant. August. We'll soon arrive at... Rosaith. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Always a good idea. Don't take anybody else's belongings. We've already completed eight services on the Goblin. That's because it's all you do is play Train Sim World 4. Uh, yes, as I said earlier, it does come out tomorrow. Do I like the route? I do, actually. I think it's one that I'll come back to. Um, we'll do it tomorrow. And then I'll give it a chance to update a little bit. Unless there is a, a release day update. Uh, 158 we've got to wait a few months for. Yeah, I, I do actually like the route. I wasn't sure at first, because mainly because of the lack of AI. Uh, but the actual route itself, I am liking. I like the fact that you're not doing the same thing there and back so you know if this was me i would go up one way and down the other you know, technically you could without it being boring you could do a four hour run on this you could go edinburgh to the place at the top come down this way go back up this way and go back down the other way um and it feel like a completely different route so you've got like a four hour round trip Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Simmons and Stuff Scott Rail Service going to Edinburgh Way for Lee. The next station stop is going to be in the key thing. I went out with a guy called Keith once. He's a very big guy. Couldn't sit down for a few days. Hmm. Must have to give him a call. Anyway, the next station stop is in the key thing. Uh, if you're getting off there, then um, goodbye. Go, 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 Stevie. <coughs> Thank you. 
unlike our Keith, he was tiny. Can we hear the announcements? That was it. Is that a train? Oh, hang on, that's two. That's more frequent. Okay. That's better. That's been, what, about 15 minutes? So if we see another one at about 10 to 6, I think that's going to be better. Right, in the key thing is next. Lighting is looking good as well, which it always does in this. Oh, blimey, got a 30 limit. Okay, do the braking thing. Maybe more the braking thing. Yeah, brakes aren't great on this. Because of these points, I reckon. I reckon. I wonder if we get an announcement. Uh, yeah, probably not a good idea, Michael. arrive at Inverkeven. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. That is such a lot. Someone needs to count that. I reckon that's good. A, 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 what? Wait. That's probably a good seven or eight seconds between the bing bong and the announcement. We're now arriving at Inverkeithing. Words. Don't come easy to me. How could I find a way? Can't stop listening to the new Bon Jovi song, by the way. Legendary. Really like that. I wonder if he's touring. Anyway, unlocking doors. Doors are unlocking. Yeah. Right, so we, in a, if in about 10 minutes time we see another train, then it's right at eight trains an hour. No, I should be more frequent than that. Four trains an hour is 15 minutes. Eight trains an hour should be every seven minutes. That's quick maths, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's go and welcome aboard this Simmons and stuff. Scott Rail Service going to Edinburgh Waverley. The next station stop's going to be North Queen's Ferry. I wonder if it's full of queens. I wonder if they're all on a ferry. I hope I can get on my high heels. Bruce is going to take his trousers back at the next station. So if anybody wants, because he wants to get off, that's fine. Because if anybody wants to donate me their trousers, I'll be in the rear cab waiting for you. Hmm. Go, 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 Stevie. She's something every seven minutes. Well, that's been, what, about four or five minutes since I saw the last one. You can't stand camp voices. 
He spent time with Ethan. Well, it's blocked off. Where does that go? Well, nowhere. That's a tunnel. Right, so North Queen's Ferry is the one the other side of the bridge. Hi, Rich T. You haven't seen Ethan drinking. Ethan's had... He had a sip of cider. But no, I am liking the route. I can definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm certainly enjoying this side more than the other side. And obviously the highlight of the route is coming up uh, with the fourth bridge. When will it release tomorrow? Depends on whether you're on normally 10 o'clock on console, like 6pm on um, Steam. If you're in the UK. Well, Tony's not going to London, is he? It's not me, it's Tony. That's a bus in the middle of a thing. Right, half a mile to go to North Queen's Ferry and then we cross the bridge with all its bridginess. We'll soon arrive at North Queen's Ferry. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Indeed. Right, North Queen's Ferry and then across the bridge we go. You want to meet Tony? Then there's enough alcohol in the world for Tony to come out in public. <laughs> well, after tonight, Tony won't be back until... Uh, he won't be here... No... He won't be here tomorrow, uh, potentially. Uh, certainly won't be here on Wednesday in the chef thing. Uh, won't be on the farm. Won't be in Wreckfest. Uh, you may see him on The Sims, but you won't hear him. So you might see him, but not hear him. Um, and then, because obviously the way The Sims talk. So next Tuesday could be the next time you see Tony or hear from Tony there is the bridge You may, you may see him in The Sims on Sunday. We'll see. Sometimes he just turns up. I didn't expect him to go all the way to Mexico on uh, on Friday. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims and Tough Scott Rail Service going to Edinburgh Waverley. The next station's down Meany. Before we get to there, we've got to, think, got to think about a nice big erection. It's quite a mighty erection in front of us. Um, hopefully we enjoy it and have a good ride. Go, 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 Stevie. I, I 
don't even know what Tony was on about there. I think he's obviously talking about the bridge, the erection that is the bridge. I think that's what he was on about. Enjoy some idling over the bridge. That looks really good though. That's quite well modelled. That must have taken a lot of time just to model the bridge. The other bridge is missing. Well, that one. Well, there's two in there's the old road bridge and the new road bridge. I think they are both there. Yeah, one in the distance and one closer. Right, it's been 12 minutes since we've seen an AI train. So the whole seven, the eight trains an hour things <laughs> soon is a mile away. I think it's expecting me to go a bit quicker than I am. I should be doing 50 over here, not 30. But I'm enjoying my my time with a mighty erection. Which is the bridge, obviously. Yeah, I think that bridge is really well done. Fair play to him. That is oh god. That is quite impressive. You can't deny that looks good. And we are getting to the dusk time of the day as well. So yeah, I would have thought we'd have seen another train by now. Especially on this bit. I think the train audio and the modelling, they, they've done really well. Do you ever stop moaning? No. Do you ever stop moaning? Tony. Can't get rid of Tony. Nobody likes Tony. What's he done wrong to you? He's getting off at Edinburgh.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Simpson Stuff Scott Rail service going to Edinburgh Waverley. The next station stop is going to be Edinburgh Gateway. There's a supermarket called Gateway. I used to work there as a small boy. I wasn't supposed to work there, but I did. They paid me a tin of beans a week. It's like being on the farm. Hmm. Next stop is Edinburgh Gateway. Uh, I'm still sat here with no trousers on, uh, so I'll be staying in the rear cab. Go, 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 Stevie. <laughs> Right, Edinburgh Gateway next. Gateway that became Summerfield. It did. What happened to Summerfield? Didn't they get bought out by Morrisons? Are they still going? Bing! And Gateway then became a computer company, didn't they? Uh, right, 3.9 miles to Edinburgh Gateway. Uh, we're approaching the fast section of track now. 100 mile an hour limit. Can finally go flat out in this thing. Slightly uphill. This may take a while. Safeway. No, Gateway. Not Safeway, Gateway. I'm only 25 and I know what Gateway was. There was a Safeway. Yeah, Safeway is one of those budget things. There used to be fine fare. If you're of a certain age. Was Gateway more Midlands? No, we had them down here. Right, 64 of the miles an hour, 2.8 miles to the Edinburgh Gateway. Oh, they're zooming in back again. Yeah, really liking this route. Wasn't sure at first. Uh, it's got 100 mile an hour top speed. I don't think we'll get there on this section. Well, we've got 90 coming up anyway. Uh, B Jam uh, Radio Rentals. When I were a lad, we rented our TV from Radio Rentals. What am I doing after this? Uh, the going downstairs and watching YouTube route. Oh, see, it's better when it gets up to speed. I'm definitely liking the train. I think we were using this train again once the annoying green one does a pride livery for it. Oh, that sounds good on the wind down. Look, people sometimes tune in. You know, they don't, they, everyone's here from the beginning, like you weirdos. Pride livery for every train. Yeah, well, we did have in Train Simbol 3. He did quite a lot. We'll soon arrive at Edinburgh Gateway. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Yeah, those announcements are definitely better if you don't have the windows open. You really need to break early in this thing. Uh, yeah, the connection to the airport here. Mm. 
also change for Edinburgh trams. Yeah, they should be around. Here. Uh, so yeah, trams are down here then. Where there aren't any. We'll go and see if we can find them in Edinburgh. I've lost the train. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, lock doors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sinners and Stuff Scott Rail Service going to Edinburgh Waverley. The next station, South Guile. Got nothing to say about South Guile, I've never been there before. Hopefully it's nice, because I'm getting off there and having a wander around. I, I need a Chinzar, though. Uh, I found some trousers now, so I'll be leaving at South Guile. Uh, enjoy the rest of your trip, and uh, I'll say goodbye now. Go, 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 Stevie. Oh, so Tony's leaving us at South Guile. Oh, another train. So that was about 20 minutes between trains. That's like three trains an hour. Oh, he's getting off at South Guile. We've already got Haymarket and Waverley to go. Maybe tomorrow he'll get on at South Guile. We'll see what happens. He might be spending the night there. They won't know what Chinzano is. Can't work out how old Tony is. We'll soon arrive at South Gyle. Don't forget take your belongings with you before you leave the train. You think Tony's my age? 25? I can't get longer every time. Age is but a number. I am not a number. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, hang on, we've overstopped. Bear with me. All right, doors are opening on the left-hand side of the train because that's the side they're opening. Yeah. Well, I think CN84 is a bit of a clue there. Locking doors, doors are locking. Well, no, Tony. He's gone. He obviously got off. Maybe we'll uh, we'll pick him up at South Guile. Actually, hang on. We won't stop. Tell you what. Tomorrow. 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 Um. We'll uh, we have to go the other way then. So we'll do this run tomorrow because we got to pick Tony up at South Guile. So someone needs to remind me of of that tomorrow night. 
Otherwise, I'll forget and just do the other one. So we'll do a timetabled run in the snow uh, up to uh, the Glen Rose place. Um, and then we'll do a free roam run from there back down to Edinburgh, the other side. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I can't believe some of these people watching actually want to spend their time and money meeting up with some of us in the community at, at points this year. It still amazes me people want to do that. Uh, thank you, Ethan. Oh, it's getting a bit misty now. Play misty for me. Bing! Last work if you can work overtime tomorrow night. Love you too, Michael. So this is the point where I'd expect to see a lot of trains. I hope they do. I will keep an eye on the uh, the Discord that I'm in um, and see if they do update the timetable. Michael works Saturday on something through Birmingham. We can get on Michael's train. I have to try and plan that one day. Hey, we're up in the Derby area at the end of May. I'm doing, um, what are we doing? Autumn Towers, Matlock and uh, that lot. I'm great meet the first class. Thank you very much. Well, I was going to do that when we came back from Penzance, but then we had a Harry with us. So we didn't do it. Uh, so yeah, there are details of some planned meetups that we've got uh, this year uh, in the top of the Discord server. If you're slightly deranged and you fancy uh, meeting up with some of the weirdos in the community, uh, we've got a day in Cardiff where we're going to do Barry Island and Cardiff Bay, so a bit of train action. Um, a day in London, which is turning into a weekend in London actually, uh, in July. Uh, and then we're doing the Imber, Imber bus uh, down on, uh, on Salisbury Plain in August. Uh, on and off various buses uh, going from Warminster uh, onto Salisbury Plain. Uh, did that last year. And it was really good. Right, Haymarket. We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. There was eight seconds between the bing bong and the announcement. Really? Why does it take eight seconds to go, right, play that one, then that one, then that one? As there is a train, not a train. So at least we're getting different AI now. So this is where you can actually take the, whatever it is, that thing, uh, between Haymarket and Edinburgh. 385. Yeah, that one.
Is Waverly the hole in the ground? I think so. Well, thanks, Michael. Right, final station then. Edinburgh Waverley. I think there's a lot of route there for the money. Um, so that return leg was certainly more interesting than the than the leg going up. And the fact that you could do the right hand leg, the one we did, come down this side, turn around, go back up this side, and then go back down the right hand side. You know, that's that's a four hour round trip. That certainly makes it really interesting and worthwhile. To Edinburgh we go. I see green. I see trees of green. Red roses too. It's quite dark in this bloody tunnel. Alright, breaking. End of story. Oh, okay, that weather did weathery things. Well, Scotland weather. I think the, tr the train audio has done very well. I've actually got a red. It's the other side of the station though, thankfully. <laughs> Oh, that sounded good through there. Look at this, a completely deserted Edinburgh Waverley. Would it really be this deserted at ten past six at night? So those the trams. The trams coming round here. Oh, they don't come this far. They only go as far as there. Ah, so the last station is where they came closest. Okay. There was a tram on the map, yeah. There we go. 31 miles, hour and 12 minutes. I like that. That's good. I wasn't sure, uh, but I do like that and can recommend it. Which, again, I wasn't sure if I would be able to. I went into that going, it's not going to be great. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be great. And it was. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll do. That's quite loud. Uh, we'll do more of that tomorrow night. Uh, we'll do a snowy run um, north on the west side, and then come back down with some free roam stuff, uh, and then more stuff next week. I think next week we'll do Edinburgh to Glasgow, just to keep us up here, and then see how the Edinburghs confirm, uh, confirm, compare, and do the Edinburgh Gla Glasgow bit, uh, and then more uh, stuff to come after that. Indeed. Uh, right, so there we go. Uh, so thanks to you lot in chat for keeping me company. Uh, you could do Cathcart Circle. There's a good point. I could do Cathcart Circle. So we'll spend the next couple of weeks in that there, Scotland. Uh, maybe Tony can stay in Scotland for a couple of weeks then. That, that makes life easier. Um, so yes, tomorrow night we'll pick up Tony again at South Guile uh, and see what he got up to uh, this evening. See if he touched any haggises where he shouldn't have done. Uh, so thanks to you, Line Chat, for keeping me company for the last two and a half hours. Uh, uh, thank you for Tony uh, for guiding us a little bit of a way along the way. Uh, and to uh, these people. Thanks to Dragons Ben uh, McNeela for following, Alien for resubscribing, uh, thanks to the gift, and the moderation team for doing, well, nothing, basically, as normal. I think I just need to sack them all. That's probably going to be easier, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Uh, I will be back uh, with more of that uh, tomorrow night. Until then, if you have been... Thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>